Hey guys, KT here. Welcome back to some more Mass Effect 2. Last time we actually explored more of this hospital after we fought more of the blood pack. Now, uh, we also saw a lot of dead bodies and basically uh, we started to get really irritated at Morton because these were more of the causes of the genophage. Uh, because it was created, now people are dying trying to find a cure for it. Uh, which, Morden's trying to hide the fact that he, this is very negative about it, but he's trying to remember that, hey, it was positive. But we're heading on forward where we're going to deal with the blood pack. Here we go. Oh, wow. I'm not going to lie, this is actually pretty good. There we go. A little death one way or another always works. Okay, we got this. Now, I could have. I actually. Oh, okay, apparently I suck at aiming. Uh, now, I actually upgraded uh, Shepard uh, while I was on my whole pause screen. So, what I did was I upgraded him where uh, his incinerate was actually a lot stronger, even though I had enough to actually upgrade. Uh, my combat drone to do a lot more damage like it would have been OP because it had it had like a lot of cool effects like for example one uh, it would have got it would have attacked been well on any type of shielding on barriers armor or health and it, if it gets destroyed it explodes so it had some really good benefits by side nah we didn't need it uh, because, you know, we were good without it at the moment. I mean, I figure I might as well just go for something else uh, instead. Just for the fact that it could help a lot better if I use other stuff than just that. Uh, Shepard, we're kind of like not in the best spot right now. Like, I mean, this is not the best cover. Oh my god. I've noticed that there's a lot of, like, glitches happening in my game. It's, like, really weird. Like, uh, when we first arrived on Tuchanka, there was, like, a lot of, like, weird animation er errors where some of the characters would just randomly, their model will go out and, like, we could see inside the model. It was, like, really weird. Alright. Okay, that's a fragile crate. That's not really the greatest, but you know what? It's whatever. Okay, just focus on taking them down. Alright. Where is some more enemies? I think we're good, actually. Watch, I'm like, I'm gonna snap, of course. I knew that the inside said it. It was not gonna be good. Oh my god, it's not good. Oh my god, no! I'll put them down! Oh my god, come on, we got this! Oh, hello! Getting up close! Oh, this is gold? gold? Oh, I thought we were gonna have like a conversation with the Krogan where he's like talking about how weak we are or something like that. Man. Never mind, he was actually really weak. Shit. Alright, so where do I go? Is it... Is it right here? Is it through here? Yeah, it is. So what's on this side of the door? Because I see this door over here. Ooh, locked crates. Uh, that's actually not that bad. Okay, there, there. Boom, boom. And there we go. Easy. And we get 3,000 easy creds that way. Alright, works perfectly. Well, I guess the uh, best thing to do is just go on forward. I mean, nothing else to worry about, really. Alright. So, I, if I had to take a guess, we took down the chief, so I'm pretty sure Morden Friend would be up ahead. If I had to take a guess. Okay, we got a reset. Yeah, so let's hack this uh, terminal real quick, uh, because that is a smart thing to do. Okay. 
Where is the one I want? Oh, there it is. Perfect. Man, I think the one problem with those is just trying this to figure out where to where I need to go, you know, to hit to get the correct one, you know, like how long it's gonna take. Signs of restraint, no evidence of torture. Don't understand. For such a smart man, Professor, you always had trouble seeing evidence that disagreed with your preconceptions. How long will it take you to admit that I'm here because I wish to be here? He wasn't kidnapped. He came here voluntarily to cure the genophage. Impossible. Whole team agreed. Project necessary. How was I supposed to disagree with the great Dr. Solis? I was your student! I looked up to you! Experiments performed here. Live subjects, prisoners, torture and executions. You're doing? We've already got the blood of millions on our hands, Doctor. If it takes a bit more to put things right, I can deal with that. You honestly think the experiments you did here are justified? We committed cultural genocide. Nothing I do will ever be justified. The experiments are monstrous because I was taught to be a monster. Morton, did you ever perform experiments like this? No. Never taught you this, Malin. So your hands are clean. What does it matter if the ground is stained with the blood of millions? You taught me that the end justified the means. I will undo what we did, Professor. The only way I know how. What happens if the genophage is cured and the Krogan expand again? That'll be on your head. We justified this atrocity by saying the Krogan would cause havoc and war if their population recovered. But look at the galaxy. Batarian attacks in the Traverse. Geth attacks in the Citadel. Is this a more peaceful universe? The assault on your Eden Prime might never have happened if we had let the Krogan recover. We'll never know. How would a Krogan population explosion have done anything to stop Saren and the Geth? An increased Krogan population would have forced the Council to take steps, likely involving colony rights in the Traverse. The Turian fleets would be vigilant for any military activity in the area. They might have stopped the Geth at Eden Prime. Supposition. Impossible to be certain. Don't you see? We tried to play God, and we failed. We only made things worse, and I'm going to fix it. You talked about killing, but the genophage isn't lethal. It only affects fertility rates. Krogan fight over fertile females. They become mercenaries or pirates because they see no alternative. They would be thriving in a cultural renaissance now had we not decided that this is what they deserved. Inaccurate. Krogan population resulted in war. Simulations were clear. Why work with Clan Warlock? And how did you access the genophage data? The data was easy to obtain. We all still had clearance. We were heroes. All I had to do was ask. As for the Warlock, they were the only clan with both the resources and the commitment. Malin clearly doesn't need rescuing. What do you want to do? Have to end this. You can't face the truth, can you? Can't admit that your brilliant mind led you to commit an atrocity! Unacceptable experiments. Unacceptable goals. Won't change. No choice. Have to kill you. Wait, you don't need to do this, Morton. You're not a murderer. No, not a murderer. Thank you, Shepard. Finished, Malin. Get out, no warlock left. Project over. What if he talks to more Krogan? Tells the public about the modified genophage project? Special tasks group good at covering tracks. No proof. Warlock willingness to work with Salarian, unusual. Other Krogan will kill him. Aren't you worried that he'll start his research again? No. Locking this unit. Special task group can cut access to old data. Could start from scratch. Decades of work, though. Didn't teach you everything I knew. You heard the Professor. Get out before he changes his mind. Where am I supposed to go, Professor? Don't care. Try Omega. Can always use another clinic. The Krogan didn't deserve what we did to them, Professor. The genophage needs to end. Not like this. Apologies, Commander. Misunderstood mission parameters. No kidnapping. My mistake. Thank you. Don't worry about me, Morton. How are you doing? Should have killed him. Wanted to. Easier than listening. Easier for him, too. Experiments indicate how far he's fallen. Expected it from Krogan. Not one of mine. Maybe you'll remember that the next time you're discussing the ethics of the genophage. Yes. 
So many variables, stress responses, impossible to truly predict. Something to think about. Malin's research, only loose end, could destroy it. Closure, security. Still valuable, though. This is the research that included tests on living victims. It's tainted. Right now, victims died for nothing. Keep it, use it. Death's worth something. Malin's work could cure Genophage. Don't know. Effects on Krogan, effects on Galaxy. Too many variables. Too many variables. You regret what the Krogan have become. You see the horror of what they did here, but you see the loss, too. Wasted potential. They don't deserve this, Morton. Save the data. Point taken, Shepard. Capturing data. Wiping local copy. Still years away from cure, but closer than starting from scratch. Done. Ready to go. Ready to be off to Chanka. Anywhere else. Maybe somewhere sunny. Let's get out of here. All right, let's see what we have. So we got more experience. A summary of what happened. Um, Morden's new power, which is a... Uh, ooh, it cripples an organic enemy. Nice. A uh, new outfit, uh, some new uh, items to use for research, which is really nice. Uh, so all we have to do now is go back on the Normandy. Uh, we'll talk to Morden, then we'll go talk to... Uh, Garrus, after talking to Miranda, see how she's doing, and then we'll go talk to Garrus to uh, get his mission. And then we'll end the video. Because that makes more sense than anything, to be honest. Oh, hey, look. There you have us here. Nice. Wait, can, can I talk to you? I have work for you if you want it, or not grunt. Just set the human aside and we can talk. Oh, rude. Okay, uh, let's go back to the Normandy. God, I don't, I don't know how... What to say. I mean, honestly. Hell, we had to talk more than I have not killing his own, like, his own student. Like, I mean, that's, that's actually insane, you know? Jesus. Honestly, I don't know how many parts this Let's Play is going to be. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, it's gonna be like uh, Fallout all over again. Fallout 3. But it's fine. I love RPGs. They're really fun and I get to play as a great amount of time. And, and a great. It's great for having a bunch of videos prepared um, and being able to, you know, focus on other things outside of it. I mean, it's that, always great. Get other videos prepared. Because when I do a lot of short videos, it's like, oh my god. A new message at your private terminal. It's like, oh my god, it's so long, it's so, <laughs> like, it's, I have to go through so many. To Grunt's commander. Uh, what? Oh, it's the shaman. Okay. Uh. I don't know anything. Uh, let's go talk to, uh. Oh god, I forgot there's upgrades now. Uh, let's see. Do I have enough for? You know what? Let's uh, let's check some of these. So I can get a biotic. Nice. Um, nope, no more for there. Let's, oh my God! Look how many prototypes there are. I'll get that for uh, crow for good old grunt. More than ooh, oh that's really nice. I I'm just going on like a experiment <laughs> spree. Not gonna lie. Oh my god, it's so great. And then we got the AP pistol that I bought. There we go. Still hard to believe Malin betrayed me. Betrayed my work. Disgusted by his actions. Proud of his nerve, though. Almost thought he lacked backbone. Hope he finds something new. Better goal, better purpose. Fewer torture tests. You're really at peace with what happened? Yes, of course. Can't change what happened. Life continues. Back to mission, back to work. Become like Malin otherwise. Salarian emotional processing faster than other species. Has to be. Short-lived culture can't spend time reminiscing. So you really don't feel bad at all about what happened on Tachanka? Yes, correct. Now at least. Greatly distressed at the time. Stages of grief, loss, anger, rationalization. Dealt with it. Most issues settled on Tachanka, some on shuttle back to Normandy. Malin didn't seem like he processed his emotional response. He was obsessed with the genophage. 
True, didn't mean to imply that Salarians were healthier emotionally, can still make wrong choices, bad decisions from grief, anger, guilt. Malin couldn't accept feelings. Made decision, executed. Probably before I left for Omega. Wish I'd seen it. Salarians still feel, just resolve it quickly. Explains lack of marriage, can't sustain courtship emotions. Or perhaps based on reproduction. Unsure. What about Malin's data on the genophage? His attempts at a cure? What about it? Have it over there somewhere. Not dealing with it now. Need to focus on collectors. Not important now, regardless. Appreciate you helping me back on Tuchanka. Should get back to work. Wasted enough time already. Yeah, no problem. So, uh, we're, we're gonna go finish our conversation with everyone else. Uh, because I'm thinking about taking another little break like I did last, uh, last time to grind... Um, because I have not taken the time to grind for a while, and I have a bunch of upgrades that I need to, you know, get. So it's better to grind than anything. Um, I'll just get all my grinds free, uh, get all the conversations done, and we're, we'll be good. Um, then we'll come back and do, like, uh, we'll do, uh, Garrus's mission, because, you know, that's really all we have until we do more recruitments. So let's talk to Miranda real quick. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Oriana in time without your help. I'm glad Niket tried to redeem himself. For what good it did. Thank you for stopping me, Commander. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life and the freedom to choose her own path. And she knows she has an older sister. A friend. Are you gonna talk to her again? I honestly don't know. For once, I haven't planned that far ahead. I'll deal with it after our mission. I have to stay focused, and she needs time to adjust to her new home. It's funny, I think of you as all business. Good to see that there's a person under there. The mission's too important to let personal feelings interfere. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. Okay. Well, nice to know there's a little flirtiness going there. But, uh, that's, that's all good. Uh, so let's just go talk to Garrus real quick, then we'll be done. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel, name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. What happened? How did Sidonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs, told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They trying to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead. Because of him. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Yeah, no problem. We're friends. We're like the bestest friends. So, if you guys enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, check out all the links in the description below. In the next part, uh, we'll be heading to the Citadel to help Garrus with his little issue. Um, and I'll have a lot more upgrades than usual because that's what I plan on doing. I'm going to get more items for upgrades. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye!